quick tip of the day. Welcome to Paleo Quick Tip of the Day. Make every day perfect. Now I know. All you hear about lately is keto this and keto that. Not nearly as much paleo as was the case a few short years ago. That's typical. People are rather faddish after all, all following the latest trend and and abandoning something else, even if it was working wonderfully for them. But Far more commonly, they jump on the next bandwagon before ever really committing to and following the last one they were planning to adopt. But just to be on the record, for most folks, the paleo diet, often with slight adaptations like adding in pasture dairy, some legumes and potatoes, is the way to go. I believe the ketogenic diet has huge potential for some folks primarily those who already have autoimmune disease and or are otherwise severely damaged health-wise. For them, keto living can be very therapeutic, but for the rest of us, pretty healthy overall people, an ongoing commitment to a paleo lifestyle, eschewing bread and grains, severely limiting sugar, And keeping the carbs on the low end overall is the way to go. It's the way to achieve a great and healthy life. And that is what I'd like to talk about today. Making each and every day in your life a perfectly paleo day. No day can be absolutely perfect, but if you plan and have a template that you use regularly to outline your days... Well, most days turn out pretty darn good. I had a good one today. It was beautiful weather. Uh, tilled the garden. Uh, ran errands. I, I got my mower deck all hooked up to the three-point hitch on the tractor, and it runs wonderfully. So I feel good about myself. <laughs> so the first thing to do, to do is to make sure to get to bed early the night before. I did. It seems too obvious to say, but most folks nowadays do not get to bed early, ever. It's just too tempting to stay up, watch TV, go on the computer, and otherwise have your eyes blasted with blue light, throwing off your circadian rhythms until after a while. Your body doesn't know day from night and sleep eludes you. This is bad and is probably much worse than you think. Sleep is not only important to your health, it is crucial. Sleep is also majorly determinant in how you feel. If you do not get adequate sleep, and by that I mean at least eight hours per night, each and every night, you are not going to feel good, vibrant, and healthy. Personally, I've upped mine most of the time to nine hours a night. I've I feel just wonderful if I get nine hours of sleep. And believe me, that is how we are designed to feel. We are supposed to feel great the vast majority of our lives. And it is tragic that so many almost never do. So be sure to take care of the sleep quotient first in your quest for wonderful, happy daily living. Make sure you have things that you enjoy doing, hobbies or interests that you find interesting and compelling. It really doesn't matter what they are, as long as they are not harmful to you. Exercise is one, but actually is not a hobby per se. Exercise is a necessity, just like sleeping. Just make sure that it is natural. As outlined in my ebook, Perfectly Paleo Exercise, and also on my blog at paleoj.com. That Perfectly Paleo Exercise book has been out for a few years, and but just lately it's really started taking off in sales. So get on board. It's cheap. 
it shouldn't really be a chore to sleep. It should just be how you, oh, the exercise shouldn't really be a, a chore. It should just be how you wake up each day, pleasant and working out the kinks. I had a wonderful workout today, as I always do. In front of the TV, that's surprising to many people, is best for most, on a mat, I have a yoga mat, methodically improving each limb of your body and your core by flexing them throughout their full range of motion. I call it virtual resistance exercise, but McSweeney's Tiger Moves is another name. He's the originator of this form of exercise, as I understand it, although it's been done all throughout time. He's the modern popularizer, I guess. Then, get on the floor and stretch, limbering your whole body. This only gets more and more important as you age. Stretch daily. You can start at 15 minutes and over time work up to 45 minutes or even an hour. Each and every day that you can. I mean, people think nothing of watching an hour of TV a day. In this way, you're doing both, and you're actually accomplishing one of the major things you can for your health and well-being at the same time. The key, again, is getting to bed early. After a good eight hours of sleep, getting up is no chore. It's not hard, and neither is exercise. For me, it is my time, the high point of my day, really. I am immersed in a movie usually, and with Netflix and Amazon Prime videos, there is always something that you will want to watch. Keep your watching restricted to when you exercise. Tie them together, not watching when you aren't exercising. Avoid binge watching. It's stupid and counterproductive if you desire perfect days. My hobbies run towards music, reading, outdoor work on my land like gardening, mowing, clearing paths, and maintaining my woods. I love anything outdoors, and I believe this is an ancestral thing that can be very valuable for anyone. I also have old vehicles and enjoy, enjoy working on them as well. For you, it really doesn't matter what you love. Art, photography, painting, sewing, quilting, flower arranging and growing. I mean, the list of interests are endless and all are equally valuable. Just immerse yourself in what you love and you are fulfilling your purpose. You will become your self-determined, autonomous self. So, for a perfect day, you want to aim to include a slice of all of your interests into each and every day, if you can. So, you can, before work, exercise. After showering, prepare your breakfast for the family and your own lunches to take to work with you. Bringing your own lunch is almost mandatory. Fast food is like a nightmare in most cases, and eating your own healthy paleo fare is key to being happy and healthy. And now, there are even crock pots and lunch boxes that cook your food as you go. Really, you just put in, say, a chicken breast, a bit of rice, and a vegetable, all raw, and they are cooked either in your vehicle via the electric connection there in the cigarette lighter or at your place of work in time for lunch. You just need to plan ahead, just like going to bed early. I don't know, new cars, they probably don't have cigarette lighters or cigar lighters anymore. <laughs> I'm dating myself, but my newest vehicle is uh, 2007. So, you go off to work, well fortified, with a great breakfast, a paleo breakfast, like eggs and bacon and maybe a salad, and you have a nutritious lunch in your lunchbox to look forward to as well. You are exercised and feel like you are glowing with health, relaxed and happy. This is going to be a happy, productive day. Your work day will go well too, trust me. When you are feeling great, you are at your most personable and relaxed, which will make your work, no matter what type it is, go very well indeed. People love to be around and do business with those who are confident, 
healthy, relaxed, and fit. It's instinctual. Think about it. Would you want to interact with someone who is obviously unhealthy, with a pallor instead of a glow of health, someone who is yawning and appears to be on the verge of getting sick and in a continual bad mood? No. And you have after work to look forward to. When you are done with work, you can do what you want to. I have already eliminated watching TV. You did that this morning, remember? As you exercised. Now, you need to get outside. Get it out into nature, my friend. I like to go swinging heavy hands weights in my woods for 10 to 15 minutes. That's really all you need. It's a... It's about as intense as sprinting, but it doesn't feel like it is because you're using all four limbs. It's a great mini workout that gets the whole body going, plus you are outside in nature, which is also crucial for health. We all need to have a dose of nature on a daily or at least near daily basis. People that live in big cities are hurting their health in myriads of ways they just don't realize or aren't aware of. They're not in the environment that humans are meant to live in. After that, you may want to grill your supper for the family on your Weber charcoal grill, as I do. This is an enjoyable paleo type of task that is a time for contemplation as well. Again, Something to look forward to. At After supper, you are free. No TV to watch. You can indulge in your hobbies and interests. I like to include most of my hobbies on a daily basis, as I said before, at least usually. Garden a while or read a book. Go to paleoj.com to research exercise techniques or elsewhere to look into subjects that interest you. The computer is really great for research on medical, political, and really any subject. Just keep it on real subjects, not Facebook nonsense or that type of thing. Those, along with TV, are just big time sucks. They're bad. So, be like me if so inclined. Play guitar and sing. Write. Uh, Call your mother on FaceTime. I did that last night. Sit outside on the porch and wave at the neighbors walking by. Again, I hope you live in such a rural, small-town sort of community. This, too, is something to strive for. As I mentioned, big cities and even suburbs tend to be anti-paleo these days with crime and just plain too many people. And so, you get the idea. Live a good life. That's the takeaway, really. By doing what is best, by ignoring what is a waste, most television, staying up late to watch it, and concentrating on what is good and necessary, you will improve your own life to the maximum, along with that of your family, your neighborhood, and ultimately, all of society. It has reached a point in the West, which is the fount of all good things of civilization, that the left has veered off sharply into revealing themselves as what they truly are, the useful idiots of Marxism and socialism slash communism. If you lead perfect ancestral days, immersing yourself in the good, you will be immune to this toxic anti-thought form. And so, as some of your interests, you can watch YouTubes of Jordan Peterson, Stefan Molyneux, and others. And so educate yourself as to what is really happening in society and what works and doesn't in political thought. So, after you've indulged your other interests, watch a couple of their videos. Think about it and discuss it with your spouse and your friends. And then go to bed early. Tomorrow will be another perfect day. Hey, you're quick.